Hello, I'm going to show how to test continuity on a breadboard with a multimeter. On the multimeter, uh, that's the one I'm using, the symbol for continuity looks like that. So that's the setting you want to put it to when you're testing for continuity. And these long rails here, the red and the blue, are all connected. These ones in the back, they're all connected, but these are not connected to this. And the ones in the middle are connected going the other way across. So let's go and set our multimeter to the continuity setting. I'm going to put in some wires on the red rail. And with the multimeter, you have your probes, and you can test if it's working just by touching them together. If it makes a sound, it means you have a connection, that you have continuity. So we're going to touch our wires on, that are coming out of the breadboard. And we have a sound, so that means we're connected. That's great. If I connected it to, say, the blue, which that's not on the same rail, that won't be connected, so no sound. Um, on some breadboards, this rail isn't entirely connected. It's broken in the middle. So if you wanted to have connection all the way across, you have to put in a jumper wire here, and that would continue on the connection. Uh, let's go test the inner one. And this is the same row we're going to test. I have those plugged in. I'm going to touch those so we're connected. If I cross this middle part, in the same row, we will not be connected. Touch these. No sound. Now you can jump. You can make a connection if you want to. For instance, if we wanted to connect this red rail to this red rail. Let me put it more in the middle. I could use this jumper wire. You can just connect it anywhere on this red rail to this red rail. Now power. Um, say you had your power in here, you would, um, it would make the connection over to this red rail. So let's go test that out. Oh, there we go. Great. Good connection. So something that's really important to remember is you never want to measure continuity on circuits or wires that have voltage on them because the multimeter tries to pass a small current through the item being tested. So we're not connected here. We're safe and that's very good. Another cool test for continuity is you can test your cables. I have the end of a cable right here that I cut off of the rest of the extension cord. I used it for something else. So here I have the sockets and you can see the white. Well, you can't see very well. I don't have a great camera, but there's wires in here. There's a green wire, a black wire, and a white wire. And each socket corresponds to one of those wires. Typically the ground socket is connected to the green wire and then these two, one's connected to neutral which is white and one's connected to live which is black. So we can test that. And we're still in the continuity setting. I'm going to plug this into the ground socket or at least what I hope is the ground socket. And with my other probe I'm going to touch the green. I'm getting a sound, so that means that is our green. And I'm going to touch the black and the white and we're not really getting a sound there because we're not connected. So let's go and test uh, the one on the left. And I'm going to go over here and try, let's try black first. Oh, yep, that's the black one. So if we go and put this into the right one, this should be the white. Let's see if that's true. Yeah, great. So that's how to test continuity. Very cool. Thanks for watching.